Today on Majid's Kitchen, three exciting spice rubs to add flavor to your meals. First up is a North African adobo rub, and here are the ingredients for this spice mix. One and a half teaspoons of nutmeg, one teaspoon of ginger powder, one and a half teaspoons of turmeric powder. You can use ground chili or chili flakes, one and a half teaspoons of dried chili, one and a half teaspoons of ground allspice powder and I got some freshly ground black pepper one and a half teaspoons there two teaspoons of paprika and one teaspoon of mustard powder followed by 1.5 or one and a half teaspoons of cayenne pepper two teaspoons of sugar and two teaspoons of salt the next step is to mix all of this together making sure everything is incorporated and take a small pinch to try. I've used it on some fresh tuna as you can see here, seared in a little bit of olive oil on low heat. Season the tuna steaks well and place into a heated pan with some olive oil. Adobo originated in Spain and Portugal and then to Philippines during the time of colonial era Spaniards to indigenous cooking methods using vinegar. And of course this also helped to preserve food during the time of no or very little refrigeration. There are several variations of adobo found in Mexico, Peru and Uruguay. With Mexican cuisine, adobo is a condiment or cooking sauce with a base containing a combination of chipotle chilies, ancho, guajillo or poblano chilies. And here again, just a close look at the spices we used for this wonderful adobo rub. You can check out this video in the playlist. Moving on is our wonderful all-purpose meat rub. Here are the ingredients. 60 grams of kosher salt, 40 grams of paprika, 30 ml celery salt, teaspoon of black pepper, 2 teaspoons garlic powder, 1 dried thyme, 1 dried oregano, 1 dried uh, coriander powder, 1 cane pepper, 1 dried mustard powder, and 150 grams of brown sugar. Spice rubs favor slow cooking, roasting and searing in cast iron skillets. So apply on the meats at least 15 minutes or at least 2 hours before. About 1 tablespoon to a pound of meat is the ratio for this rub. And the third spice rub is Creole seasoning. Here are the ingredients 2.5 teaspoons of paprika, 2 teaspoons of garlic, 2 teaspoons of salt, 1 teaspoon of dried thyme, 1 teaspoon of cayenne pepper, 1 teaspoon dried oregano, 1 teaspoon of dried onion powder, a teaspoon of black pepper. And uh, give it a good mix and here are some of the uses. Jambalaya, common one, shrimp and grits, and a favorite, the po' boy sandwich. We're going to do that in probably one of our videos coming soon. And one of the secret ingredients for the adobo rub is to add some dried orange or mandarin peel to enhance the flavor. And this is what the rubs look like. That's the Creole seasoning. And here with our all-purpose spicy rub. And this one, of course, with the addition of the orange peel is the North African adobo rub. Today we've explored the world of spice rubs, creating three unique blends that are sure to elevate your dishes. I hope you've enjoyed these recipes as much as I have and I encourage you to give them a try. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy cooking.